In this tutorial, I'll be going over basic object manipulation. In the Santos environment, there are a variety of objects and models that can be used and maneuvered to demonstrate real-life object illustration. To begin, we must open up the library window. Remember, the library window is located under the Windows tab and can be positioned to your liking on the Santos main screen. On the library window, there are a set of nine tabs, Default, Grasps, Avatars, Models, Accessories, Postures, Tasks, and the animations and custom. For this tutorial we'll be using the models tab and under the primitives folder are the basic objects we will be using today. To use an object in the Santos environment you left click on the object icon of interest and drag it to the desired position. While dragging the object onto the scene if a plus sign begins to hover over along with the mouse then the object can be placed but if a do not enter symbol begins to hover then the object cannot be placed in that spot in the Santos environment. Once the object is in the scene, it can be manipulated in order to represent real-life objects. Three different transform control widgets are available for use on the object. Each widget can be manipulated on three axes. The X, Y, and Z axis are represented by red, green, and blue colors respectively. Three options for object transformation are available. The arrows at the end of the axes indicate the translation tool. This allows for the object to be repositioned in the scene. The object can be repositioned in all three directions by left clicking onto one of the arrows and dragging into the desired direction. By clicking and dragging on the light blue circle in the middle of all three of the axes allows for unrestricted translation on all three axes. At the top of the viewport screen are a set of three icons to allow to switch between the three widgets. The first icon is already clicked on since we are already in translation mode. The second icon is the rotational widget, and the last icon is the scale widget. To switch, all you have to do is click on the icon desired, and the widget will be turned on. Next, we will be going over the rotational widget, so we will now click on the second icon. The arrows on the object will change to arcs once activated. The arcs lie perpendicular to the connecting plane. This allows for 360 degrees of freedom on all three planes. To use a rotation widget, select the rotation arc desired and click and drag to rotate the object in the desired direction. The last widget available for transformation is the scale tool, which is the third icon in the viewport menu window. The scale tool allows for resizing of the object on all three axes. The arcs on the three axes will now change to square planes. The objects can be elongated or shrunk in order to effectively demonstrate your real life object. To use the scale tool, click and drag the axis of interest and drag outward to extend or into the object to shrink. To scale the object as a whole, the light blue center circle can be clicked on and dragged either outward or inward to scale the object uniformly. To more easily interchange between the three widgets, instead of using the icons in the viewport menu, a hotkey was created. The tab key is linked to the quickly interchange between the widgets. To use the key, the object must be selected where the axes on the object are showing. Then by clicking the tab key, you will see the transformation tool cycle through. More tools are available for object representation and will be talked about in the next tutorial.